Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and in today's video, I wanted to share with you my entire Hermes collection. This was a requested video but I was gonna do it anyway because it is the end of the year and that's the time that I usually do my collection video. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Daisy Silk so you're gonna see that all the bags that I'm gonna show you I'm gonna be styling them with a lot of the Daisy Silk items. They're absolutely beautiful and without further ado I'm gonna start off with one of my first bags. This is the Birkin 25 size in the black Togo and rose gold hardware and attached to it I have a Pegasus charm and this Pegasus charm is tricolor. I really love the contrast of the white and the black and the rose gold. It just really makes everything pop and it just really dresses up the bag in a way that is so plain but interesting. And it also kind of helps me style this bag with white accents. I know a lot of people still prefer the Birkin 30 size because that is more of a like handbag size handbag which i'm not going to disagree obviously but for me the 25 size is the best size ever it has its pros it has its cons i think the main con is the little handle but luckily i can still get my arms through uh, unless i am wearing a winter coat which it is a winter time right now but as you can see um i don't know i'm still head over heels with this bag the hardware, the whole combination is just absolutely, absolutely stunning. Is it worth the whole year wait and the whole pre-spend and the really, really difficult journey? Well, debatable, I suppose, but now that I have it, yes, it's worth it. This bag has traveled a lot because of its history and what happened to it. But what I love about the Birkin, it's probably the simplicity, but it's also just like so elegant. And it's elegant in a way that is different from a Kelly because the Birkin has more of a like a cool girl vibe, if that makes sense. The Kelly is just as beautiful as well, but with the Birkin, there is a playfulness to it that I really like, which is why I love styling the Birkin with suits. I love doing blazers with the Birkin, but I also think that the Birkin is, you know, if you really want to dress down a very girly outfit that's also possible it has that very kind of nonchalant casual vibe to it which is why i think the birkin is extra special and i think it has that status symbol for that exact reason am i going after that status symbol not necessarily i just really like the bag but maybe i am i don't know i just really love the bag i think the bag is stunning to look at the craftsmanship is beautiful it's the bag look no further if you're looking for the perfect black blazer or white blazer take my word for it just get it <laughs> i know it's so dramatic peak lapel mulberry silk blazer it is the most well tailored and modern piece of ready to wear that you can ever get. Thank me later guys. I love this suit so much because it also has the matching pants that I want to get the white version. I love it that much. The fact that it's their 40 mom silk which is their thicker mulberry silk just gives it that really extra luxurious feel to it. It's super silky very fresh and very drapey. They also have a different style that has the shawl lapel. I also like that one, maybe in the white actually, but honestly, you cannot go wrong with a peak lapel. It's the most classic style you can ever get. I just realized that I forgot to remove the little stitch here when I did the try on. So if I had removed it, it would actually flare out a little bit. It would look even better. The way it drapes, it's just the most perfect even with this sweater on like it's just little shoulder pads so it keeps the structure it's fully lined in their beautiful airy silk and it's it's just gorgeous gorgeous guys look at the drape of the of the fabric it's just so beautiful wear it with the matching trouser with jeans with any of the skirts it goes on everything it just it you can cinch it in put a belt on you can wear open it has the most simple style that 
um, it will not overwhelm any other accessories that you have. I always love the idea of oversizing, but they always overwhelm me a bit, either on the shoulders or the sleeves are way too long or the body is too long. This one has that oversized look without looking like you're trying too hard. It actually works. It looks like it's actually my size. The matching trousers looks absolutely stunning with my Kelly belt. They are a little bit long for me, so I do have to take them in a little bit. This is my Kelly 25. Let me just close her up a little bit just so that she looks a little bit more prim and proper. So there we go. We just leave the little sangles underneath. So yes, this is my Kelly 25 in black Epsom gold hardware, and it is in the cellier construction. Really is the most simple and yet elegant bag that you can ever get and even though i was told many times why another black bag i can confidently tell you that i am glad that my kelly is also in black i guess with the birkin it could have been non-black as well maybe it would have been really really nice in this bag and i would have loved it just as much but I'm happy that they're both black because, I mean, it's sometimes you can't really choose and sometimes you just give off the vibe that you love black a lot so your essay just keeps offering you black. Uh, and in any case, I didn't ask for no black, I just said neutral and so when I got another black bag in the Kelly, I, I, really, I really loved it. I think at first I have had a thought that, oh, another black one like why is my every single bag black but the longer i have owned the kelly 25 and especially the kelly 25 the the more glad i am that it is a black bag because the kelly especially in the black is just so sophisticated i feel like this more than any other bag in fact is probably the one that i can see myself wear until i'm like so old because with the birkin there's no shoulder strap, not that I necessarily use it a lot, even on the Kelly, but having it just makes that much of a difference when it matters on days that you really don't feel like it. Having both the bigger handle and the low shoulder strap, and it's black, like how timeless can you get? You cannot get more timeless than that. It's like saying classic flap in black, caviar, gold hardware. It's the most classic that you can ever get. Typically with the Kelly, I just like to style it with my girlier outfits. It's not always the case. I definitely do find that with the Kelly because she's so proper, prim and proper and elegant that I do tend to wear it when I'm trying to match the style of my outfit. So usually I do prefer to style my Kelly with my more elegant outfit and usually with my skirts i just love it skirts and heels i just find that they look so good and go so well together if you're gonna get anything from this entire haul and you have to trust me on this one get this skirt so this beautiful skirt is two layered like i said in their 19 mom silk so it's it's just gorgeous guys my favorite skirt today, I have to say. This is literally my favorite skirt. It gives you the shape that you didn't think you had, but it's also elasticated in such a good way that you can eat, you can breathe. Unlike the Kelly 25, I prefer to wear this bag open, so I'm gonna open it for you because this is the look that I prefer. I prefer her a little bit deconstructed and just, casual she is already so small it's like this shrunken to become this and a little bit shorter and stubbier in fact um that you just cannot help but love it so much and yes it's totally hyped up the kelly mini or the mini kelly is just such a hyped up bag what can it fit anyway is it the most practical i'm gonna say no but do I still love it? Absolutely, yes. It's my unicorn. As a very first quota bag, I probably wouldn't ask for a mini Kelly, not just because it's harder to, to get a mini Kelly to begin with, but also the fact that I, 
I know it's kind of like a useless bag in a way. Therefore, the Birkin 25 was a good place for me to start. I'm really happy that it kind of happened that way. But having the Kelly Mini on my third year, it was time. I think gold for me is not necessarily a color that I gravitate towards. Oh yes, by the way, this is the Mini Kelly in gold Epsom, gold hardware. Even though brown or camel color is not usually my go-to, I have to say that Hermes's gold color, so Hermes's brown color, is really a really fantastic, multifaceted, versatile, it just works. This is their beautiful signature slip skirt. I wouldn't say that this one is better than the tall skirt. I would say they're par, but just in a different way because why is it so good? Okay, first of all, it's a thicker silk. So even though I chose it in the white, it's not that see-through. Unlike some white, it can be very, very see-through. You can wear a tank top and tuck it in. You can wear a sweater and tuck it in. You can wear a blazer over it and cinch it in or just leave it open. There's so many, so many ways, even though I have a flat stomach when I'm fasting, but like when I eat, I just eat a lot. But I couldn't believe how well this fit. It just is flawless. And I chose it in white, guys. White is probably the hardest color to style. If you choose it in any other darker color, you'll have a much easier time to style it. This one, which I also styled with the slip skirt, but you can also just wear it as a jacket. The little crystal button. Um, and it only has one button. I did wish that maybe it had another hook on the inside. These days, I prefer my simple garments because I can always embellish it more, but I cannot take away, right? So I love that this has this shawl lapel. So if you wear it alone open, it looks like a jacket, a very lightweight jacket. I wanted to match the skirt, but honestly, this color, which is basically white, you can pair it with anything. I have one of my favorites. I mean, they're all my favorite, but this is really also <laughs> one of my favorite. And it is the Lindy in the mini size. Mine is in the Torion Clémence in the color Etoupe and the gold hardware, which I used to never really like the color Etoupe because I always found it a bit muddy. But I really changed my mind once I got this bag because it really depends on the leather. I think on certain leathers, Etoupe can look a bit muddy. I think it's Epsom. If you love your neutrals, you're probably going to love this color. Like, look at this sweater I'm wearing today. It's it, it's a true neutral. And this just, they just complement each other so well. And the gold accent is wonderful. I have right here also my Rodeo charm. This one is so cute. It's in Rose, Mexico. This one is not a Pegasus. It's just a regular Rodeo charm. And I thought I would pair it with this bag. I don't really typically wear a charm in this bag, though. So I just put it on just to show you how how cute it looks and also it gives it a bit of a contrast color. But yeah, this is a cute, cute charm. I love this one. The color is gorgeous. So much to talk about, but we're not going to do a review. First of all, it's not your typical Lindy look because it's not the dumpling. You, you don't typically really squeeze it, so it doesn't really become that dumpling shape that you're used to seeing probably if you're really a die-hard Lindy fan. It just looks like the Lindy but it doesn't behave like the Lindy, at least not the original. It is a mini bag at the end of the day so don't expect to be able to fit your whole life in it. But can you be hands-free and still fit everything without having to feel that you're downsized too much? Absolutely yes. So I think this is a really good in-between mini bag that is more on the bigger size especially for the winter time all you want is to be warm comfortable and looking good without putting too much effort it's basically your most effortless piece that you can get if you look at the texture of the fabric it's just the most absolute stunning luxurious cashmere that you can get this one is a slightly thicker cashmere than the red one that i'm going to show you next i love both of them for different reasons this one i love because it's just one of those that's easy to style you literally throw on some jeans put this on you don't even need to tuck it in it's the perfect winter outfit it keeps you warm this is my one and only touch bag meaning that it has part exotic and it is 
the exotic handle. This bag is the Picotin 18 in the black Dorian Clemence leather palladium hardware. I think in my entire collection of Hermes bags, this is my cheapest bag also. So that's kind of interesting, even though this one has exotic. I know it's only the handle, but for this style bag in particular, having the exotic handles really makes it stand out. Not only stand out because they're different texture, but they also just keep the structure so well. As you can see, I, I didn't do anything to it. It just goes back to its shape. Yes, I always have a Samorga organizer in all my bags anyway, but like for this bag, I think the touch handle, whether you have an organizer or not, will really, really benefit the, the structure anyway. So that's one of the reasons why this is such a beautiful bag. I think there's a simplicity about, again, most Hermes bags are kind of simple compared to other brands that um, I really enjoy. It's very elegant and I love being dressy. So this is sort of really up my alley. And as you can see, I also paired it with my other Pegasus. And this one is the one with the touch wing as well. So they just kind of match and really go well together. And I absolutely, absolutely love this bag. Actually, this bag is one of the easiest to use similar to the Birkin where you can just throw things and grab um, but this one it has the advantage of having the bigger handle so sometimes I even prefer using this bag over the Birkin and that speaks volume because it is a fraction of the cost doesn't mean that it's easier to get but it is at a fraction of a cost for similar functionality sometimes I even prefer the look of this bag depending on the outfit obviously but I, yeah, I'm just a big fan. I'm a big fan. I love this bag so much, I wanna get it in a different color. This one I love because of the color and also because this one is a slightly lighter cashmere. So you can see the drape, it's very delicate. Like I said, between the two pieces of cashmere that I have here, I can't tell you which one is my favorite. And so it pairs so well with the different skirts. And of course you can just dress it down with jeans and trousers. It's great for the office. Same as this one, the roll neck on this, it still keeps you warm, but it doesn't suffocate you. It's just the perfect amount of looseness. There's also a little bit of pattern on it. I don't know if you can see has little dots, so luxurious. The color is so pretty, one of my favorite colors. So if you're looking for your perfect holiday sweater that you can eat in, because again, these are, you know, they're fitted, but they're also loose in the right ways. Della Cavalleria. This one is in the Epsom gold color with palladium hardware, and she is very, very, very well-made. She is definitely one of the most interesting designs that I have in my collection. Love it or hate it, you cannot deny the craftsmanship of this bag. I think the biggest pro about this bag is that it has one main compartment. That back one right here is really just for like anything you want to slip there. It also has a back pocket, which honestly, <laughs> I wish the Birkin, the Kelly, I wish they all had back pocket. They don't. Uh, this one has it. And it also has a very comfortable shoulder strap. Now, this is only adjustable with three lengths, which is kind of my gripe with it. I wish that it had more different holes, but I guess they didn't want to make too many holes on it, maybe. Maybe, I'm not sure. It does aesthetically look more pleasing without too many holes, though, I have to agree. I always think that for a wallet on chain, because this is a wallet style with a strap, um, I always thought that it should be the one that I really want. I never was very attracted to the Chanel walk. I'm sorry for the Chanel fans out there. I really love Chanel in general. You guys know that. Um, but I could never really get along with the Chanel walk. I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but <laughs> as I'm even looking at my own reflection on the viewfinder, it's just like even holding it feels more luxurious. Uh, it just gives off that more mature, sophisticated, elegant vibe. It has a loud H buckle only because Hermes has gone so popular, but otherwise it's just so 
kind of like simple like if you really look at it it's simple it's just literally a black wallet with the h buckle it's nothing too fancy even though because of its simplicity it is actually fancy so it's very hard to explain the juxtaposition but i love it about it and i also love that this is so so easy to get in and out this is why i favored the constance over the kelly wallet to go uh, again this one is in the black epsom gold hardware the straps they are completely detachable again i have videos very detailed videos on each of these bags so this is not a review this is just to present my whole collection i used this during one of my biggest trips this year during my alaska cruise and literally this bag goes with the heli hansen jacket it goes with a sweatshirt and jeans formal dinner outfits it's just it goes with everything which is so interesting of all the bags that i've shown you this one is literally the most easy to style with any sort of outfits um so it speaks volume i think the, the fact that it is a wallet kind of casualizes it but also because it has that longer shape so it can also be used in more fancy formal settings um which is why i love it and it also has the back pocket which i love 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 um this is just a good one it's a, such a good one but just don't just don't expect to fit a, a whole lot like the mini kelly also right like they both are such small bags you cannot fit a whole lot in them and depending on the shape of your item sometimes they just don't fit so sometimes i can fit more in this sometimes i can fit more in this it just depends on the shape of my items but yeah these these two bags they're very very versatile but they also have their limits so this is my constant slim and it is just a belt bag that doesn't come with the belt you have to buy your own belt but the point is that you can attach your own belt to become a belt bag and if you look carefully this one is an exotic skin it is in lizard and the color of this is gris tour de Rel. as you can see i have this sort of like strap which is a third party strap i used a piece of felt and i just sewn it together because i didn't like the original one that came with this is too thick so I just sewn it together. I just hand sewn it together. I like the felt is a lot slimmer so it doesn't take up all the space inside. Originally it just comes with this little tiny, tiny little uh, flat coin pouch. Fits inside but <laughs> once you fit it inside you have even less space. So I've actually never used this pouch but this is what the Constant Slim is. Originally you're just getting this so you have to bit get your own belt in my entire collection every bag is very simple they're all neutrals this is a neutral too but because of its skin of its exquisite skin it's just the most unique piece that i have in my collection and by the way this is in rose gold hardware i forgot to mention that uh, do I use it a whole lot? Not really. <laughs> if you're interested in any of the pieces that I've shown you, you can use my coupon code AMY15 to save 15%. It applies to everything they have on their site. They use the purest mulberry silk, which is 6A grade, OEKO tech certified, which guarantees that everything is manufactured without harmful chemicals, which is also environmentally and socially responsible. You guys already know I love silk so much. It is basically the queen of all fabrics. Apparently silk contains 18 amino acids. This is the reason why it's so soft on your skin. It's so comfortable. Silk also regulates temperature, so it's good for all year round. It's great for the summer. It's also great for the winter. And with their cashmere products, they use the finest Mongolian cashmere, which is the softest and the most inner part of the wool coat. I always look at the design first because that's what you see online. But when you get the items, then you can feel the material and that's when you feel the difference. So I am super impressed and I think you guys will too. I'll have everything linked down below along with my size. I chose everything in size small anyway. I'm going to link to my other collection video or related videos in here and have a great day. I'll see you and talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.